Previously on Datsia Yakimura, the hot and cold intellectual. But uh, you can remind me of an episode of uh, Sakura Sparkle Cure. The twin ended up switching places for a whole day, and everyone only found out about it at the very end. You know what I'm saying, girl? Oh, uh, oh, wait! I don't know what you're talking about. I remember that episode. <gasps> girl, girl, do you watch Sakura Sparkle Cure? Then girl, oh my god, I love that anime. I haven't ever met anyone. Who like it too, girl? Oh my god! Hey, uh, did you have someone waiting for you? No, no, why? Because, uh, there's this guy, like, uh, glaring at us, girl. What? Dude! <laughs> I look over to where she's staring, and sure enough, through the crowds of people I see, that's yeah! Yo! He's, he's staring at us with his arms crossed, completely unheeding of the people swarming around us. Bruh! Well, I'm sorry, man! We were so into talking anime! Bruh! Anime! Days! Understand, man! Damn! We've been like, starting for around two or three hours. And it's almost lunchtime. And we've been studying breathing for two or three hours. Yeah. <sighs> Tatsu has been trying to teach me how to summon eyes. Nice! Surprisingly, Tatsu is a very patient teacher. And he seems used to explaining things in an easy to understand way most of the time. However, I still can't do a single damn thing. God! Uh. Hey, uh, don't worry, Tanko. I know you'll get it. Ah! What? The cup Emmy was holding in her hand suddenly freezes over. And she drops it. And surprise! What? We watch as a cup bounces off the table and shatters on the floor below. Oh, uh, damn it! I don't know what happened there. I'm so sorry. I'll get something to clean it up. Amy rises out of her seat, but Tata is faster. Don't worry about it too much. At least you were able to get something out of our studies. He walks off before Amy can say more, and I look down. I know he didn't mean it like that, but uh, why can't I do this? Why? I can't even make the air cooler, much less create actual ice. Ow! Oh, don't get down, Tonyko. I mean, I've been studying since I was a kid and I still suck this much, you know what I'm saying, girl? Can't even control when I do something sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You're doing great for someone who's like only been studying for like a week, girl? I mean, damn! Thanks, Abby. Thanks. Amy smiles back at me. But then, I see her eyes focus on something in the distance behind us. She smiles even bigger and waves. What? I turn around to see who she was waving at and I'm surprised to see that Shou and Shinji have just walked in! What? The two men walked over to our table. Shinji bro! Oh, uh, what was this, the boys? Um... <clears throat> hey, uh... Emmy bro... Uh, what, what was this? Uh, ho hold on! I remember he was high as fuck, right? Uh, hold on, uh... Yo, Emmy! What up, girl? Damn! Hey, Jodico! Emmy? Wow, uh, I didn't know you two knew each other! Well, uh, we didn't! Not until today, we just met on the train, no? So, y you know Tonico too? We both do, actually, yeah! She's, like, in some of our classes and business club, too, y'all! Yeah? So, uh, how do you know Emmy? Her brother, you know what I'm saying, show, and I hang out sometimes, don't son? Yeah. No, Emmy's usually just, you know, draws, so not sure if that can be counted as hanging out. Tatsu comes back and then, and gave show and Shinji a brief nod. Hey, uh, so it looks like one of our workers called off today. And my shift was about to begin anyway, so I think our study session has to be over. That sucks about the whole girl calling off, damn! But, I have to get going anyway. Gotta go get some supplies, so... Yeah, I'll be seeing y'all! Thanks for the lesson and food, Yukimura! Tariko! Girl! Be sure to call me, okay, girl, alright? It was nice meeting you, both of you! Amy picks up her things and waves goodbye to us after she walks out to the, or up the shop, Tatsu turns to me. Hold on, Tatsu! Yo, Amy! I'll call you! Let's talk about anime! Ah! I need to get to work right away, so I'm sorry. But you'll have to make it home by yourself, okay? 
that dad turns to walk away. I called out to him. Wait! Bruh! Hold on! Tatsuya looks back at me, and I stand up, my hands to my chest. Bruh, look, uh, you helped me out a lot, or you helped me out a lot today, you know? And I can't do anything to help repay you. And your mother? Uh, no thanks necessary. I was just doing my assignment. For some reason, I feel a little f- No! Way hurt by this, then looked out. I guess after spending so much hour with them, uh, I thought maybe we were starting to become friends at least now. I guess I was wrong. God. Tata completely turns to my f- or turns to face me, then it mumbles. I didn't mean it like that, God. But nonetheless, uh, no thanks is necessary. Besides, uh, do you even have any, uh, relevant work experience? It's when he says this that I realize I'm a burden to him more than anything. Uh, hold on! Did I say that out loud? Wait, do you, do you like read people's mind or some shit? What? Anyway. Realizing I have nothing to say, Tetsu starts to leave. But something in my feels frustrated, you know what I'm saying? And I grab hold to his arms. Look, while I don't have any experience, uh... Fred, look. I'm not useless, you know? Yeah. And besides... It's not like you're in any position to turn down help, right? Fine. But I'm not going to repay... Or no, I'm not going to repeat myself, so you better be on top of your game. Uh, uh, don't worry about me. I will be, bruh. I will be. Yeah. That's it. points to the table. Start by seating these two to that table. I nod and put on a bright smile. Right this way, guys. Yeah. <gasps> oh, chapter four. Hailstorm! Yeah, and I guess I start working at Tatsu's Cafe, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't mind because then I'm, I could, you know, work with Tatsuya and her, her and his mom. Yeah, I mean, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Anyway, chapter four. Hailstorm. Let's go. Over the course of the day, Tatsu showed me how to work the register. I also learned how to take orders. Tatsu himself has largely been in the back, helping his mother and the staff make the, the orders. I'm on the register, finishing a customer's transactions when I run into my first actual problem since beginning. I slide a customer's card for him in the register, but the system gives me back an error. Oh, goddamn. Uh, um, uh... I look up at the customer and give him a nervous smile. Sorry, uh, I'm not sure why it's not taking it. L let me try it again. I try again as the man stares at me, tapping his fingers on the counter. I swipe the card again, but I get an error. I stare at the card as if it betrays me and think about what to tell the man. I feel a presence and almost turn around, but an arm reaches across me. What? What? <laughs> Okay, I watch a hand tap on the keyboard in front of me and look up to see Tatsu face very close to my eyes. I am. I'm surprised to see that uh, he isn't scrolling as I thought, but rather... Sorry about that, sir. She's new here. But the smile is gone in a flash when his eyes move to me. Oh, God. He speaks in a low voice as he rapidly hits the key. There's a proper protocol to processing these cars, God. You should have called for me. Just watch what I'm doing, okay? It's not that difficult. I train my eyes on what Tatsuya is doing, mm -hmm, yeah, but my eyes began to wander. I smile. Is that the first time I see him smile? No! You see him smile, right? Uh... Oh shit, is it, was it the first time? No, no way, I, I, I'm pretty sure I saw a smile. Ah, but anyway, or is it just the first time I'm noticing? Probably, yeah, probably that. Sure, it was probably just a fake one for the customer, but he looks so different. I wouldn't mind, you know, seeing the real thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What, what am I even thinking about? Goddamn. I shake my head and try to focus again, but the proximity of our body makes me a little nervous. All right. I find myself thinking back to the time he carried me once again. How surprised I was when I found... He was that strong. Are you even listening? Uh huh? I look around and notice the customer's already got. Oh god, I, the transaction apparently finished. Uh, in fact, uh, the whole cafe is nearly empty. 
Oh, 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 oh,
Longing? But he doesn't touch them. Man, I, I have no idea why he's acting so goddamn weird, but... If he wants to play it so bad, I mean, he should just do it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah! Hey, uh, do you play? Or do you want to play it? Tatsu's eyes dart to me as if just remembering that I even exist. Uh, bruh, hello? Wh what? The piano, bruh. You want to play a piano? I mean, you seem like, uh, you wanted to play it, so... I'm just asking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah! Tatsu's eyes drop to the keys again, but he looks... sad. And almost like he's in pain. Something suddenly stirs within me seeing that expression. And I walk over to the piano myself. Tatsuya watches as I carefully sit down on the bench. I place my fingers on the keys as if I were going to play, but I don't press down. You know, I've always wanted to learn to play the piano, yeah? Back when I lived in the UK, we had one, but I was never allowed to touch it. Oh, you lived in the UK back then? Oh yeah, you did live in the UK back then, right? Yeah, I remember now, yeah. My mother never... I stop. Realizing what I've just said, a sick feeling spread through me, and I pull my hands back from the keys, curling them into fists. I press one, of my ch I press one to my chest, willing my sudden feeling to get under control. If Tatsuya notices, uh, he doesn't say so. He only sits down on the bench, close to me. <sighs> he reaches out, wrapping his cold fingers on my hands and placed them on the keys again. Yo! Hero, hero, hero! Yeah, okay, I, I still don't know how to hide the... See, yeah, the dialogue. Probably there isn't any, so... Yeah, I guess I'll show you guys the full image. Yeah... Somehow in the editing system, yeah. And, uh, damn! It looks nice! Yeah! He murmurs under his breath. Like this. As he put my fingers in the correct playing positions, I look at Tatsuya's hands. They're larger than mine, but they have long, strong fingers. His fingers are so elegant. It's like he was meant to play the piano. Um, uh, um, why don't you play, bruh? I speak barely above a whisper, but Tatsuya looks at me as if I had just shouted. He looked down again and hesitantly placed his hands on the keys next to mine. After a few moments, he quietly, haltingly begins to play a nostalgic melody. Oh. As he plays, I move my hands to my lap and Charlie look up at his face. He seems focused but somehow relaxed. Serene. I start to lose myself in his music, feeling at peace too. Even as he makes a few mistakes, his playing becomes increasingly confident. I almost want to close my eyes but I find I can't stop watching him. Suddenly, Tatsuya stops. What? Why? You're doing so good. Uh, I start to ask what's wrong, but then I see he's looking at something across the piano. What? Or rather, someone. Eh? Oh! I turn to see what uh, Tatsuya is looking at it. I see a young woman standing in front of the piano. Uh, hi! Ah! I look from her to Tatsuya and Becca. They stared at each other silently. The surprise is visibly apparent in both of her face, or their face, yeah. Okay, uh. Tatsuya? Uh, wait, hold on. Oh, uh, it's not like that. I didn't mean it. Koi ga nai. I don't got the voice. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. I don't know what to- Ah, uh, the voice! Ah! Uh! You know what? I'm winging it, yeah. Tatsuya? Tatsuya? I feel as if someone is suddenly pressing down on my chest hard armor dium. I don't even get to call him that. Yeah! Tatsuya looks at the girl, dazed, unsure. Haruna? 
His voice is not much above a whisper, and yet I can still hear it. That strange sweetness in his voice when he says the girl's name. I force myself to not turn away, even though my heart feels like it's being squeezed and on a secret. Tatsuya stands up and moves closer to the girl. Just a step closer, but I'm already left behind him. Ah, I can't see what sort of expression he's making as he looks at her, and I don't think I want to know. The feeling of suddenly being very small and unwanted, like I was some sort of pest, creeps into my very being. The girl, Haruna, as he called her, smiles gently up at Tatsuya. Wow, uh, it's been so many years. She briefly glanced at me and tilts her head. You've grown up into such a good-looking guy. I'm kind of jealous of your girlfriend here. <gasps> who? What? What do you mean who? Uh, he looks back at me as if just remembering that I'm here. Oh, thank you, bro, for remembering that. Oh, uh, her. She's not my girlfriend. That's just says if... Uh, that just says it with so little fucking emotions as he turns back to Haruna-chan. Yeah. <sighs> Seriously, bro, I mean, Dio. I try not to wince at the sudden sharp sting in my heart. But, man, I don't know why it matters, goddamn. It's not like what he's saying is fucking it's jury, you know? uh, I guess it just hurts to be so easily dismissed and forgotten. Uh, I stand up from the piano bench. Uh, it looks like the staff is back, so I'll, I'll just go take care of the order while you catch up. Yeah. That's it, barely spares me a glance as I walk away towards the bar area. I push through my own curiosity and walk towards the staff without looking back a single time. One of the st- one of the st- one of the the staff, the bartender, looks at me with a smile as I stop right in front of the bar. Thank for these, uh, hey, could you tell Chizaki thanks for us? When I nod, the bartender smiles brighter. Thanks, uh, oh, uh, and here's the payment. I take the money from her. Oh. It was a lady. My bad. I take the money from her hands and put it away in my pocket. Uh, thank you. I just wait here for him to be done. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is to myself, but even then, or perhaps especially because I thought about it, my eyes drifts over to Tatsuya. I can't see what he's still talking to a girl. I'll buy too quietly for me to hear from all the way over here. God damn. Uh... Haruna's normally so quiet. I never really see her talk to anyone. Isn't that Chisaki's son? The waiter asks. And both he and the bartender. Oh, that's a he? God damn it. Both he and the bartender look at me curiously. Ah, God damn. I nod at them. They both smiled as they briefly glanced at Tatsu and Haruna. Then, when they look back at me, they look at each other as if suddenly understanding something. The bartender leans in closer over the bar. Okay, so, change voice! So, uh, is that your boyfriend then? She asked me in a quiet voice. I ignore the way my heart flips at the suggestion. No, uh, wh- why does everyone says that? I mean, I want to be, damn it! God! The waiter snorts and the bartender laughs openly. Neither, uh, neither bother to hide their amusement at all, y'all. What? Why is that so fun, huh? Well, uh, I can't say why anyone else asked that, you know. But in our case, uh, we probably both saw how you were just, you know, trying to glare holes through us. <gasps> uh, uh, I, I, I was, I mean! Oh, fuck, no, I, I, I didn't even realize it, goddamn! I start to bow to apologize, but the waiter is already turning and walking away! Hey, uh, I can't give you a little help, though. I hear him mutter as he walks towards Tatsuya and Haruna. I'm sure what to do, I can only watch the scene unfold in front of me. Hey, uh, Haruna. Come on, uh, we have to finish getting ready for the night. Haruna looks started as his uh, uh, sudden appearance, yeah. Then, as if finally realizing how completely absorbed with Tatsuya she had been, she quickly bows to the waiter. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry, Michi. I completely forgot. Michi laughs and waves away the apology. Uh, it's fine, Haruna, but I could use your help back. Of, of course. Well, uh, help, I hope I see you again, Tatsuya. 
Right up. Have a good night. Haruna nods and quickly says goodbye. As she walks away with Michi, I finally move from the bar and walk over to Tatsuya. Haruna and I pass each other, and she gives me a little smile. I somehow manage to force out a smile back at her, but it feels so incredibly awkward. Ah, I can only hope ah, it didn't look like a girl. Ah. Tatsuya's eyes don't stray from Haruna's retreating back as I walk up to him. I feel a stab of irritation, yo! Ah, what the well, what if the fuck right down? I pulled the money the staff had given me out of my pocket. Hey, Yukimura! He doesn't fucking react! Okay, oh this is this how it goes, bro? Alright, alright, I'm in game! Is this fast spaced out, damn it? Okay. Try to get this attention. Ignore him or yell at him. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I personally want to yell at him. Yeah. Be like, hey, bro! Hello, I exist. You know what I'm saying? I'm not some kind of a fucking what? An object right here just standing out. Hey, bro! That's the other kind of deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Should I ignore him? If I ignore him, I mean, maybe he'll come after me. Is that how it works, game? Is that how it works? Oh, fuck, I don't know! I should, uh, hold on! Okay, so, how the fuck? How do I even? Try to get his attention, ignore him, yell at him. You know, I personally want to yell at him. But ignoring him? See, this is the question here. Okay, if I ignore him, right, would he, is he the type who go after the ladies? But then, in this situation, right, maybe she, yeah, he's into Harna, so maybe I shouldn't ignore him? Maybe that's bad? Mm. Or try to get his attention. Or yeah, you know what? Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna yell, no. Try to get his attention. You know what, no! Bruh! If you're not even gonna respect my existence, well, you know what? Fuck you! <laughs> you know, I'm gonna just ignore him and leave. I'm sorry. But, if that's the case, man, if you're not interested in me, then fuck! I'll figure out the other way. Not now. But later on, I will. Yeah. I'll make sure you go after me. No, I'll make sure you chase me. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna work hard and I'm gonna make you chase Toniko. Yeah! So you know what? I'm gonna ignore. Yeah, fuck you, bro. Yeah. I shove the money into his hands and walk past him. I don't even bother to say goodbye as I walk out into the street. <laughs> I walk out of Carvan er, Carnivalus acting as totally unconcerned with Tessa as he was with me. But inside, my blood is fucking boiling. He's so fucking rude! I can't believe! I can't believe! I even thought he was nice for even a second! Uh, honorific! Wait! My stupid heart leaps at the sound of Tatsuya's voice and I whirl around to face it. Did, did they give you any messages? Seriously? That's it, bro? Just leave me the fuck alone, man! Damn! Uh, for sure, beyond belief, I stand up. No, I speed up into full run, leaving a properly confused Tatsu behind. Gosh, you don't understand me! Damn! 